Oh, shit. All right. <clears throat> We're going to talk tonight about what it means to be a good person. What a good person truly is. Because it's your reality of it so distorted. The more I give to people, the more they expect it. And they don't even, they're not even great. They don't even see it. It's blinded. You can have somebody. Hmm. Someone else, someone can distort your reality so you perceive someone differently. Do you see what I'm saying? It's like that little worm's turtle or whatever and the hobbit thing or whatever, you know, it's whispering in the ears. Man, it, it, it's brutal hate. Yep. Yep. And the women are suffering the worst, I think, right now because the wall's hitting them bad. Yep. They're suffering. We're going to suffer now bad. Men have been suffering for a while now because of the court systems. Yep. Trying to take the kids away from the men. All of it, man. Female judges, dude, are hateful. Oh, hateful. Some of the worst people. Men, women should not be judging men. Kind of same way, the other way around. It's just work, you know? Nope. Nope. Women prosecutors, evil. Oh, shit. Well, I had, a, I had a black one dude down there in uh, Fort Pierce. She wanted to give me three and a half years for an ounce of pot. Yeah, that's what it was, three and a half years. The judge said, why? She couldn't answer. Yep. Yep. Good judge. Bad prosecutor. Public defender suck. They're not even there for a joke. A joke. You might get one in a million. And it's just... Money doesn't, money doesn't, money doesn't. Money's poison, straight up poison. Men and women are infantile today. Yep. And I'll tell you this, boy, they just, <laughs> they shipped a bunch of people from places that are a lot more violent than this place. And you're about to find out. That's not us. Yep. Well, not me anyway. I'm not doing any of that. Nope. Fighting it. I gotta send guardian angels. That's what that ships were. Those ships were full of the backs. Get me? So all these fronts that were around that weren't tuned in like that are going to be. You get me? There's many more like me. Yep. Yeah, but I'm the bait. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I had to go through a lot of lessons through many lives to figure out everything. Not everything, but you understand to be mm, to be able to survive in this time. It's a horrible time. Horrible time in the world. You're lazy, fat, arrogant. Pride? Mm -mm. There's nothing wrong with being pride, having pride in yourself. That's when you twist it. You twist pride. Men won't let me help them. You know why? Because they're jealous of me. They're envious of me. They're hateful of me. And it drives them crazy. Their pride gets in the way. Yep. And women think they know everything. You know, having women try to, you know, the history of religion and the, the world history, trying to explain history. You're, you have no idea. You're looking at it for, through a female perspective. All those books were written by men. You know why? Because those are the ones that were out there battling it. You know, there's other things, dude. Women are for different reasons. Mm-hmm. And I'm asking you women, please, stop going into the police forces and all that stuff. And if you go into the military, do not go in. Try to do not go anywhere near combat. You understand? Stay away completely. Let Leave that for them. All right? 
You're much better off psychologically. It will damage you, destroy you. <sighs> the real you. You understand? You be happy with what you're doing right now. You know, attached to materialistic and hanging photos on whatever passed on your wall. Nope. You never live in the present. Nope. You're always looking, searching. Never enough. Never big enough, never high, never this, never, never high enough, never, no, there's never enough. Yep, there's never enough. And there's more hate in the world than there's love right now. That's why we're here. Yep. I saw the symbol of a cross, and it was with a circle on the top, Mike. Yep, and then I saw Christ. Yep, he was hanging on the cross. And it's like a, it's a youth, um, light, you understand? But he's light and something else. Mm. He's dark skinned too. We're dark, you know, I'm in the area. Darker skinned, yeah. And he would appear light. He would appear, we radiate light. So we would definitely lighten anyone up. You're supposed to be, you're supposed to have been working into your blend. Yep. All the different areas, you know, we're supposed to blend together. Come in, it is, hmm. I guess you can kind of call it a Greek. It probably look Greek. Dark, though. It's like dark. But it's not Italian. It's like a, it's between Italian and African, kind of. It's right there. Yep. Yep. That's the color. We are, we're dark, though. Yep, we're dark. Yep. Too much white ain't right and too much black ain't good. <laughs> it's both, man. Yeah, it's crazy. It's like one's got to mild out the other one. And then it's a culture thing, though. It's not anything. But your bodies are built for the certain environments that you're in, right? That's what it is. So you're built, like, differently, like, in one region of this and one that. Everybody's built, you know? But there's so many, so much migration that nobody really sees it or understands it anymore. They just think we're all big, you know, it's just the same. I'm 5'10". My regular weight's 185, 200 right now. But I was 280, you know. Yeah, got sick, couldn't move for like six, seven months, man. Brutally and brutally, you know, um, tortured by family. Fat, this, fat, look at you, you know, get up. And none of them believe my sick. None of them believe anything. Nope. Suffered. I <laughs> just left them alone, just laid on the ground. Just be, leave me alone. Well, it's all... No one's ever taken care of me when I'm sick. Flu? Nope. Don't say nothing. I just lay there sick. <sighs> Wait, one time I was in jail. And, yep. And the inmates took care of me. Yep, I laid in there for three days. With a fucking hundred and something. Three fever, man. Fucking barling up, barling. Yep. The guy in the bed that I took died. That's when I took his thing. And they would not... Get, bring me the doctors. They brought me three days later and they said, Oh, you've only got a temperature of a hundred. Nothing. I don't know. Nothing. Bye. I had to crawl out and lay on the door. They wouldn't help me. The jails are horrible. You know why men can't keep their teeth? Fucking $2,000, $2,500 to get a fucking cap and a fucking root canal. It's ridiculous. That's crazy. I can't put them in fast enough. You fools. You women, hateful. Yeah. That's why she's represented right here like that. Because we come either way. I come as a female and I come as a male. We're duality. You get me? We'll bounce into anybody. I like, I'd rather stay here, man. I don't want to be, <laughs> I don't want to be there, man. Oh, man, that's too much. Oh, I want to be dumb. <laughs> you know what I mean? I like, no. Their, their brains are way different, man. Way more receptors flying around in there. Mm-mm. Yep. Women came first. It was like that. Yeah. Yep. Yep. It's crazy. Yep. Yep. Women. Yep. But an all-woman civilization didn't work. It would work. It was known for a long time. It's been tried a million times again. That's why I would call it. That's why I call it the Matrix. And there is, we've seen a different spectrum 
And that's when I see glitches and specks of stuff, you know, just certain things. Um, <sighs> All you people that are praying, the good Muslims, the good Jewish people, the good Christians, which a real Christian, loving Christians, not about money, pigs, appearances, oh, God, you look down on workers like they're slaves or something. I do people's built, you know, work doing their um, how, their uh, floors, you know, putting the floors. I enjoyed it, man. You know, I enjoyed that. I'd rather do that than go fucking rob somebody at a fucking, you know, working at a fucking Toyota dealership. You know, can I help you? No, get the fuck away from me. What's the price of this car? Well, come inside. Get the fuck out of here, criminals. And I just want to do an honest day of fucking and the people treat you like shit. Because they got more money than fucking common sense and decency. Unloving. It's the most unloving time in the history. Oh my God, the hate, you guys. What do you think all this cancer is from? What do you think leprosy came from? Yep. We can bring it back. We sure are. Yep, we're going to bring it back. Yep. And there ain't no ointment for it. Nope. Nope. It's just there. Yep. All the good people in the world were here for you. Guardian angels are protecting who they need to protect right now. The ones that die, you'll reappear. You come back. Most won't go very high and up, though. You're going to be lost. It's gray. I have loved, it's all I've done, and I've been shit on. You know why? Because I was bullied so bad when I was like five, up till five, when I started fighting back, and then as soon as I got able to defeat my, you know, then everybody, I was all of a sudden the bully for protecting myself, for defending myself. My, my you know, I mean, you people are so rude with your foul mouths I have no friends. April, you suck. You're a fat hypocrite. That's what you are. That's what you are. Yep. Yep, you're a thief. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't unfriend me. You unfriended me by being a piece of shit. I'm tired of all you people. I don't, I, none of my family, any of you? No. When I leave here, I don't talk to any of you. No, my past life, that's no, no more longer around. It's not on our table no more. I tried to talk to everybody. I just want to fucking send pictures on your fucking, what you're eating, uh, size your boat, your Christmas pictures of your tree that has a whole fucking panoramic of your fucking house. You know, I'm crazy. You know, everything staged. Everything. Everything you share on Facebook, all this crap. It's all staged. You're sad. Your government has done you wrong. They're murdering you. Yep. The ones that don't conform get lost in prison. And you know what? They've, they've changed the whole narrative where no matter what, the teacher's always right. And I'm going to tell you this, man. I was brutally hurt by my teachers. Women, amazingly. You know, they would grab me and squeeze hard. You know what I'm saying? Not so people can see. It just hurt me. And I'd always look and like, what? You know, and I'd tell my mom and she'd be like, you know, oh no, you must have done something wrong. No, I was never, never had anybody defend me. My dad never defended me. Guy grabbed me by my back, picked me up when I was like 13. I bit his freaking thumbnail off to get him off me. Dad did nothing. He sat there. 
fucking pigs. Yeah, sissies. Sorry, man. I just, I'm just upset. That upset me a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Never being protected by anybody. The cops are authoritarians. A bunch of white knights enforcing unnatural laws upon natural beings. Hmm. Twisting reality. Yep. Jury of my peers. 12 80 year old ladies, white ladies. That's my peers. <laughs> yeah, they didn't want to go to trial though. They took it all the way to that point. They're walking the people in. They wanted me to, I'm like, I didn't do it. Bad. Out of Palm Coast, Florida. That poor kid that whatever he did, he, like some kid, you know, did some stupid thing on social media. Now they're going to try to destroy him for the rest of his life. So he's digging ditches. So he pays for it. So that stupid ass sheriff from Palm Coast gets a fucking, gets some kind of fucking badge or something for it, a medal. Everybody's a narcissist. Sheriffs don't need to be out there talking stupid like that. You're dividing the country. You're not helping anything. Most police don't have very high IQs, and I know that. Yep, they don't. And the police are the worst. Sheriffs then go up there, but the police are the worst. Yep. They're under 100, the IQs on them. Yep, it's crazy. I'm going to tell you about everything, all the pap all the things they did. I'm going to explain everything. In jail, there's like one corner where the guards could like hit you, and there's one, he'd always get them. He had a broken arm and he in Fort Pierce, and he'd get you. When he got around that corner, he'd get you. Yep, he'd get you. Had a black dude ask for a new piece of bread that fell off his tray. That, if it didn't fall off his tray, it was taken off his tray by the tray above him. So he didn't have any bread. He said, hey, can I get some bread? He goes, back up. He goes, the bread fell on the ground. He pulled out his mace and sprayed him in the eye. I was watching it. He did nothing. And the guy just stood there like, what did I do? You've got criminals running the asylum. You understand? Yeah, people need to be in jail. There's people, bad people. You'd be, yeah, people. Need, but what you need to do is be putting people to death. All right? That's what you need to do. Locking them up for all years ain't nothing. You put them out of their misery, dude. Move on to the next fucking time. You're not a material being. You're a light being. There's a being inside you in the front. And we're here to protect that part. I'm not explaining anything to anyone anymore. I just want to be left alone. You wouldn't let me alone. Fucking got arrested for two Xanax in fucking Daytona. And I was parked. They said, oh, you were two feet off the curb. That's why we had to do this. Well, we just want to check you out. And I had two Xanax because I was going through fucking divorce, man. Going through some crazy shit. I was driving home from Orlando from working. I couldn't drive anymore. I pulled in. And, you know, I forgot I even had them. Someone gave them to me. Fucking year shit. There's all the fucking money. Take your license. Oh, it's fucking crazy, man. That's right when I got my kids by myself. No license. Yep. No mother. She's gone. Just me and two kids. What am I going to do? They took my license away right then. It's like every time they do just um, go through my life. Please, guys, w look at it. Look at everything. Look what they've done to Billy Allen, my friend. May 11, 1978, up there in Ohio and Indiana. They have gone after him. He is a being like me. All right? The ones that love the most suffer the most. And then you lock them up in jails for, for unnatural things. Cops are always real tough with four of you standing around you. And you got badges and all that, guns and shit. They talk. I can't stand it. Oh, I'm glad I got such good fucking, you know? Oh, I'd love to. Just crack them. Mmm. But I won't. Nope, because that's what they want me to do. And they'd be playing into them. Yep, that's what they want. That's why I never owned guns and shit. I knew not to own a gun. They tried, they've been trying to get me a long time. They pull guns on me a lot. Yeah, yep. They try to kill me a lot. The mother of those twins? Well, not mother, whatever, whatever she was. She tried to kill me. Yep, right. right. This eye happened. This eye happened two days before it. 
and I hadn't seen her almost a year, and I won't get into it right now, but her sister, yeah, it was her, because I wouldn't talk to her anymore. Her sister got me to go out there. It was a trap. Yeah, the guy had a gun and everything. It was all crazy. Set up, dude. And I didn't realize it. I, didn't, I was naive. I didn't think that she would do that. I called her out on it, too. She knows. Yep. She looked at me. She knew. She going to try to kill me. Yep. I, something told me to call the cops as soon as something happened, and I did. And that's what saved me. And I couldn't see because I had my eyes dilated. So I couldn't see in the dark. So the guy wanted to fight. So I walked out. It was weird. I was there. He pulled up behind me and got out. And then started some shit. Like, and I was like, what's going on? You know, like, I, I just walked into the whole thing. I, I was two seconds into the fucking deal. So I'm like lost. And she's like, ever this, that. And she followed him out. And, and she starts screaming and saying, ah, something. And I'm like sitting there. And I'm like, I just called the cops. And then. They kept yelling, doing some stupid shit. And they finally walked back up into the light at the house because it was dark. And finally walked up in the light and I had him. He had a box. She had a box in front of him. Like a little thing. And she had something behind, She had something in her hand behind it. And I said, Michelle, I'm on the phone with the cops. And that's when they turned around, did some things, did boop, boop. And then she came to me. And we went to the house and she goes, that's not the cops. And she picked it up. She goes, oh, that's the neighbor and hung the phone up. She was on meth. It's crazy. I didn't know what I was in, man. And the cop pulls up. Oh, you fucked up. You're drunk. See what I'm saying? They don't even know what the fuck they're talking. Cops need to take psychology courses and actually understand them. And they need to get their own fucking problems dealt with before they go on the street and take it out on fucking people. All right? The FBI is one of the worst enemies. All that CIA, all that crap, dude. Yep, criminals. Straight up criminals. Yep, criminal. Uh, our government is straight up criminals. Um, yep, I don't care. Yep. Yep, I'm just going to keep saying whatever it comes to me. Keeps coming, you know? Yep. They're hiding me on Facebook, YouTube. That's all I have. But the people that keep deleting me and slowing my videos down, your karma's coming. See them eyes right there? I'll come to you in your dreams. Your karma will get you. Hmm. Karma. Hmm. Or it could be. Pound that ass. Any one of them. <laughs> you understand? We're karma. We're here to get you bad guys. Yep. Bad girls, all you. You're hiding behind it. Victims. Yep. I couldn't get any help when I had the kids by myself. No help. Nothing. No help. Courts. Nothing. Nothing. It's horrible. They tried to steal them from me. Yep. Failure to provide adequate protection to unborn fetus. That's what I was charged with. And then he sent me a letter. No, you know, I went to court and the judge was like, "What?" And I'm like, "Yeah, they, you know." So then, I'm at home, you know, like like a couple weeks later, I get a letter in the mail. It says, "Oh, the case is dismissed." Da, da, da. So I threw, you know, didn't even think, threw it away. A month later, I get charged with it. I wasn't there. They said, charged me because I didn't show up to family court, and then kept the kids from me. Tried to steal them. I had to work hard to get me and Michelle together. I had to work both of us together. You have no idea what I've been through, world. Beth, you pig. Yeah, you're a pig, too. You're all pig. You're all fake. My cuz, he's fake. I'm glad I'm, I'm glad Nick, he'd have pinched him in the face. Threesomes ain't nothing, dude. I know what everybody does. Shit. I know what all that shit was going on. Shit. Stupid people. You get it once in your life. I have doubt. I'm not even stuck up. Anyway, I get it as much as I want. Hmm. I turned him out. Yep. Sure did. Some nasty ones, too. I'm talking about nasty women, really. Yep. Turned things on them. I thought they were playing with a kid. My mind's been like this for a long time. I've been a lot smarter than most people. I just don't, they don't understand it. Psychology, I understand. I've been paying attention to some baby. Yep. And it worked well. I, knew, I watched. I read eyes. 
Now I am, you have no idea how I read an eye. I could tell. I can tell immediately. Mm hmm. Fear. When people are unnatural around me, and they're not living like a normal everyday life, it, look, I can see it. Huh? Like Agent Smith, you know? It, they they don't move it's not like that it's humans that they know I'm, that they know consciously that they're watching me see what I'm saying so what it does it puts a vibe out to me it tells me something's around me you get me yep yep I can read people's thoughts when they're around me they get near me I read numbers I read all kinds of shit you're not hiding all them ships up there what do you think those things were huh what do you think they were we're watching you. Watch me. Watch us. You fucking idiots. You think you're all fucking high and mighty. God's sent us to show you something different. Yep. Yep. <sighs> Not to remove the meat. Mm hmm. Split it. Yep. Release those souls out of these wretched bodies. Yep, that's what it is. It's mercy. It's better on the other side. Not for everybody. It doesn't matter. No. I'm not here for those type of people. Maybe someone else is. I'm not. Nope, I don't like you guys. Mm -mm. But... I want you all to have a good evening. God's here. Oh, I watched him. He walked off the Christ. He walked off the cross. He, like, was hanging, and he just kind of just... Oh, Christ is here. I'm not fucking crazy. <laughs> it's crazy, though. No. Yeah. You think I to walk around telling people this shit? No. <laughs> I do now. I'm like, I'm Lucifer. Just keep him away from me. <laughs> I don't want you to think I'm crazy. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to text you. I don't want nothing. I don't want conversations. Shit. I don't have time for that. Karma's got a lot of people. Sorry. And I never slept with married women. Never. Nope. For some reason, it was off limits for me. I knew it. Nope. Because I wouldn't want it done to me. Nope. Even though I wasn't religious, I took that as a, as a bond. You understand? Yep. And when women tried to cheat, I lost all respect for married women. Yep. Yep. Married men, whatever, you pigs. So. Can you give me a water? Yeah, hold on. I'm making a video, actually. Sorry. Yeah. All right, you know. Thank you. Letter. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm here for them. I'm doing it for them. Those children. They're more than children, though. We're sending more down. More is coming. Yep. The lights are turning on. And we're the one pulling the switch. All right. God loves you. Nikita loves you. You guys treat her like shit. Her family treats her like shit, too. I know they do. I see it. Fake-ass pictures on Facebook. Uh, they're not that happy in real life. <laughs> Most of them are miserable. <laughs> so, love you.